Hi, my name is Tate Hartley. Um, I'm 23 years old. I just graduated from Texas State University. Uh, I'm a hopeful physical therapist student. Um, I volunteered at the Disabled Center for one week. Um, why did you choose to volunteer in Kathmandu, Nepal? Um, what programs were you doing and why? Um, I chose Kathmandu, Nepal because they offered um, physical, they offered therapy as a volunteer and um, that's something I'm interested in um, and I was hoping to help, hoping it to be a learning experience for me, um, being that I want to be a physical therapist. What was the most surprising experience while in the program? Um, I would say from the program, the most surprising thing was um, the lack of resources provided in the disabled center and the living conditions for the kids. Um, they were, they were very, very poor for the kids. Um, the kids wore the same clothes the whole week I was here. Um, for the host family, the most surprising thing was how, how welcoming the, the family as a whole was um, and a very accommodating to me. Um, from the country, I was really surprised at how much trash was in the streets. Um, littering is very common and, and accepted, um, which was very surprising to me. Um, what was the most difficult thing you experienced while in the program? Like I mentioned before, for the program, um, I would say the lack of lack of supplies and equipment needed to provide adequate therapy for their kids was very difficult. Um, there was little to no equipment, so all things were were man done manually. Um, no tools, nothing. That was very difficult. Um, there was no real difficulty with the host family. Um, I thought they were very helpful, um, helped me in any way I needed. With the country, um, I think the most difficult thing was the language barrier. Um, it made traveling and finding things um, very difficult with, um, with not knowing any language. <clears throat> um, any tips for future volunteers? Um, if you come in the summer, I would definitely say Pack light. Um, you, it's very warm and humid. Uh, you, you don't need anything that's long sleeved or, or, I mean, the pants that you bring. I would bring light pants. The only long sleeve I would bring was like a light rain jacket because it does rain often. Um, sightseeing. Uh, Changkumandi was really cool. Um, it's right here in town, not far. We also made a weekend trip to Pakora, which is a lot of fun. I would really suggest there. Um, I only stayed for a week, so um, laundry was not an issue. I, I didn't have to worry about laundry. Um, the internet was was good. Um, it cuts out at night, but it's not a big deal um, because it's during the sleeping hours anyway. Um, other things volunteers should know about, um, I would say definitely bring a medical mask, even if you're not working in the hospital, because the streets are very dusty. Um, so uh, <clears throat> even then it helps with with not breathing in as much dust. Um, the weather's hot, like I mentioned earlier, it's very humid, so um, be prepared for that. Um, light clothes, also um, a light rain jacket. Um, the local people are very friendly. Um, the shop owners are very pushy into buying their things, so don't be afraid to say no. Um, my personal testimony, I would say the, the most that I got out of this was the children in the disabled center. Um, they were very underprivileged, but but by their happiness, you couldn't tell. It was very um, humbling to be there. Um, they made a huge impact on me, and I hope that I made a huge impact on them. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, they actually held a ceremony to thank me and wish me safe travels when I left. Um, how would I describe my accommodations? My accommodations to this um, with our host family were great. Um, great rooms, great beds nice shower, um, all everything. Um, the meals were very different, but they were very good. Um, if you're a picky eater, it's hard for me to tell you they were very good. Um, I, I'm not picky, but they were absolutely wonderful. Um, <clears throat> my best memories from the trip to the program was working with the children. Um, I the, the children were really great and I really enjoyed it. Um, from the host family, I would say my best experience was that they got to know me as a friend and not just a, a guest, which was which was nice. Um, from the country, I think 
um, visiting the various temples throughout the town was really cool, a great experience. Um, very large and beautiful temples. Um, how was the local ABV coordinator, the staff and the support provided in the country? Um, the airport, I haven't left yet, so I can't speak for that, but coming in, it was great. Um, even though our, our plane was delayed almost two hours, um, there were still no issues with finding um, the host family and him picking us, us up. It was very smooth. Um, orientation day went smoothly. Um, we were given a PowerPoint, kind of shown what to expect and the customs and how to respect their customs. <clears throat> and then we were shown around the city um, some of the most, some of the more popular or famous um, temples. Um, daily support, it was great. Um, one of the family members actually gave me a ride on his um, scooter all the way across town because I couldn't find the right bus. So it was a, it was a lot of fun. They were very helpful. Um, how could I? S how was the information you received from the AVV prior to traveling? Um, all the responses were very quick. All questions were answered quickly, which I really appreciated. Um, I think that they should mention that um, during the rainy season, like now, um, packing shoes that you don't care as much about is very important because they will get very muddy. Um, and that wasn't really mentioned to me. Luckily, I was okay. Um, would I be willing to speak with potential ABV volunteers about my volunteer experience? Of course.